Okay, so a relatively easy problem right now would be to find the last digit of 7 to the 102. So finding the last digit of any number is basically, last digit of any number x is just x mod 10. Because, for example, if you have, say, 5432, then the last digit 2 is basically 5432 mod 10, which is 2. So the question is basically asking us to find 7 to the 102 mod 10. Now we know according to Fermat's little theorem, a to the p minus 1 times q minus 1 is 1 mod pq for distinct primes p and q. This was the extension of Fermat's little theorem. So in this case, if we say p equals 2, q equals 5, of course we have pq equals 10, and a equals 7, then we get 7 to the 2 minus 1 times 5 minus 1 is 1 mod 10, or 7 to the 4th is 1 mod 10. Now this really helps because now we can simplify the original question. Now we write it as 7 to the 100 mod 10 because we can write 7 to the 100 as 7 to the 4th 4 to the 25 mod 10 and we know that 7 to the 4 is just 1 mod 10. So now all we have left is 7 square mod 10 which is 49 mod 10 which is 9 mod 10. So from here we see that the last digit of 7 to the 102 is just 9.